What's up? Hey. Uh, shout out to Kara. Kara wasn't feeling very well. She, it, it was her birthday she drank a too couple much. days ago, and she just got fucked up. Um, so <laughs> she's not feeling well. So, Caramel, we miss you. Love sure. you. Sure, yeah. Uh, we miss Caramel. No, no, we miss you. Love you. We'll see you next week. Uh, all right, let's get this shindig yeah. started. Yes. We got here on time. We did. You um, got to say so, it tonight. So let's do it. Um, you want to bring our guest out? I do. I'm so excited tonight, and I cannot wait to see them perform later. But please make some noise all the way from season 16 from Miami. Make some noise for the beautiful Morphine Love Dion. Woo! Yes. Yeah. Ow. Okay. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Can you help her? Oh my god, I'm sorry. Fucking baddie. You said Maya, and I was like, seat. oh. I don't know how Mirage performs in these heels, bitch. Yeah. You can barely walk. <laughs> oh. give, it for, give it up for Morphe oh. one more time. Welcome, Morphe. Oh. Welcome, gorgeous. How are you? Oh, I'm feeling amazing. Um, yes. You know, I'm from Miami, and it does not snow there, so I wore something I would wear at Twist Nightclub. Right. And when I went outside, I saw the snow. I was like, oh, it's not. Okay, work. <laughs> Me frise. Well, you look oh. gorgeous, and Thank we're you. so happy to have you. Uh, before we start, everyone on YouTube, if you have not already... Uh, Subscribe, please go ahead and subscribe. And also, thank you to all of those who are VIP members. We appreciate you. And for you guys as well, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe when you don't come out in person and do the VIP member stuff. We have all kinds of cute uh, content for cute the VIP uh, members. We're, we're so grateful to, to have you guys. So, did you bring a little Miami heat with you? Absolutely. I'm recovering from being sick because, yeah. you know, I love to party. So oh, she's I don't hung over like caramel. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know if my sore throat is from being s in the cold or other things, but oh, I thank you. I, I love that it was just not like, I've been working, I'm a little <laughs> exhausted, oh, wait, wait, I'm you. getting over sick. No, she's like, I love to party. Oh. Um, well, who, lo who doesn't love to party? <laughs> Hello. Not party and play. I meant like just out and having fun and partying. We don't do that here. And maybe. we're on. Well, we are on. So let's go ahead and watch the show. That reminded me to take my prep. <laughs> she, she was so mean about it. No, no. I only did that because Mikey looked at me and said, do you want to see this? I'm like, no, take that shit off. Uh, we came here to watch Drag Race. Um, not what you're packing. Not what you're no. Stop. We love Megami. Megami, we love you. Yes, uh, we love Megami. Okay. By the way, what Maya said was a lie. I like Megami. You do like Megami. Now. No. No, I'm <laughs> just kidding. I love you. I love you, Megami. Mwah. So <laughs> I asked her, I'm like, when was the last time I saw you? She's like, it was Continental. We were in the bathroom a whole lot. We oh, were, oh we were God, drunk. Uh, we were drunk the whole time. Because she was like, oh, I don't drink. And I was like, well, Continental, that was, we were, we were. You there. know what happens is when you take a little break from drinking and then. <laughs> And then you start again. You get fucked you up, get Mary. You get fucked up in two seconds. You have one drink and then it's over. And that's, that's pretty much what happened. Oh, wow. Um, but with that said, I want mm -hmm. to know about the, the previous elimination. Okay, so you're walking into the room. Megami just got eliminated. What is the energy in the room? Um, tell us what's going on. Um, you know, I think... Because I'm a Capricorn, so like I don't cry. I don't like to show my emotions like that. Um, being on Drag Race was like the first time I ever cried in public. I don't even cry to my mom, bitch. Like, I don't cry. So every well, elimination is sad, and every time I walk in, I just feel dread. Like, well, dread, and then also happiness that it wasn't me. But, yeah, I, you know, it, we, for some reason, I don't know about the other seasons, but our season, we all got so close while filming, because it is sometimes a little bit much. Some girls like to say traumatic. I like to say I had a great time. But, you know, I did. I had a great time. I'm also, like, a little delusional, and I just like to have fun um, in any situation. Like, the ship could be sinking, and I'm like, do we have tequila in the back? Like, what's tea? <laughs> so, I don't know. I, every elimination is really hard because I love all the girls. Okay, I want to ask you this to just piggyback off of that. You said you don't cry in front of your mother. Does your mother know what you're doing out here these days in these streets? It's, it's, it's still a no. 
<laughs> yeah, they still don't know. Really? Yeah. Actually, my aunt called me the other day because my grandma gave birth to eight kids, and my mom is like the step sister of them. So they all watch Drag Race, and my aunt called me and she's like, "Hey, so I saw the show. I loved it." <laughs> Your mom doesn't know? And I was like, no. Are you going to tell her? She's like, no, but I think it's funny that she doesn't know. And I was like, well, thank you for your support, auntie. Wow, I'm baffled by that. I'm baffled at the fact that you are Latina and your family. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, it's <laughs> not <laughs> gossip. You heard the one. He's uh, doing the drag over there. You know, hey, she's dressing in a dress. up in a woman. She's in a dress. I know. Us Latinos are very chismoso. Is there any Latinos in the audience? Oh, yeah. Y'all know oh, we talk kills. shit, girl. Me, abuela loves to talk shit. My, my grandma yeah. knows too. She saw. So your grandmother knows, but your mom doesn't know. My mom or dad don't know, yeah. Oh, my God. It's wow. so crazy. I feel like kimchi. So, oh. <laughs> That is so good. Oh it's my like we God. were right here because I was gonna say. <laughs> yeah, her mom didn't know either. Yeah, her I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, and it was for like years. Yeah, and it was. And I was because I was gonna ask you, do you intend on telling them? Because when Kim Chi was asked, she's like, Nope, no. What is your answer to that? Um, you know, when I'm like rich and okay. famous, and then I'll tell them when I'm like stable, you know. And you know when it, when because it, the thing is like I not to make it sad or anything but you know I'm like non-binary a little more feminine so like I want to do my nails like I want to leave the house and drag or makeup so since I can't do that I want to like just move out and experience that like yeah. be you know what I mean yeah. so maybe in the future I will when it's yeah, all stars or something I, I will say this and from personal experience y- oh we're we're back, we're back. but we'll come oh. back more more yeah <laughs> okay I mean. She should have said yes. She really. should have said yes. But okay, um, let's talk about when RuPaul walks into the workroom and you guys start the reading challenge. Do you remember any reads that did not get aired that you can share with us? Oh my gosh. Um, ooh. I mean, mine weren't that funny. Thank God they put the funny ones, girl. (laughs) Ooh, because I mean, I'm more like funny, like when I'm hanging out with friends, kind of like naturally. But like to come up with a joke, ooh, girl, I barely have two brain cells. I could not. (laughs) But I did say something about Nymphia's teeth being yellow. I remember that. Yeah. And then Plain had a lot, but you know, she's nasty. So anything she says is a read, honey. Okay. I so let's like just touch base truthful. on plane right now. We've had all the girls here. So are you are you are you two friends? Are you what is We've asked everyone by the way oh, what, yeah. who what we're their talking relationship. about? Plane. <laughs> Airplane Jane? Plane Jane. Yes. Oh no, we're not friends anymore. <laughs> You're not. No, kidding. Okay, anyway. <laughs> she was just in Miami actually with me and it, it was it was a good time. Palace, right? Their anniversary or something or yes, yes, it? yes, yeah. yes, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Palace. Um I I mean, you know, Plane and I have no we've known each other before the show. So uh yeah, we're friends. Yeah. How does it feel going? Yeah, into- <laughs> we're friends. I don't believe we, that bitch. Listen, I'm not letting that roll off my we, back. We heard the octaves go up. <laughs> yeah, okay. She went up a couple octaves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're friends. Totally. Um, yeah. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh you just hear Mama Ru say, Hey, it's Snatch Game Week. Is this something that you are looking forward to, that you are dreading or just a little indifferent about it? A thousand percent dreading, bitch. Oh, my God. Even when we do the tapes, you know, like when we all we submit a tape to audition, I hated doing that. Every year I'm like, I don't want to do this. I can't. But it's, I don't know why. It's just one of the hardest things, you know. It's really hard. And when she said, I was hoping she would forget, you know. That, but, you know, she, obviously it happens every season. But, yeah, it's something that I did dread a little bit. But we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Can't wait um, to see how this turns out. <laughs> So Rue was kind of cunty to a couple of the girls during the walkthrough, um, especially Maya. What was going on? We're, we're, tell me, what was happening? Because they panned to the other girls and they were like, what is going on? Um, I, Mother Rue this season, she, I don't know what is going on, but she's like more fun now. Like she's, she's loose. Like she's just, I think the coffee enema is hitting for sure. <laughs> like this season, she, uh, girls, she's talking to us so much and I live. And uh, the thing with Maya, I feel like Rue is like rooting for her because, you know, I know Maya 
I didn't know her that much before the show, but like actually hanging out with her, that bitch is crazy, kooky, and funny. Yeah. So I feel like Ruth senses senses that in her and wants to like bring it out. And like the only way to do that is to be like a mom, like you know, so the Latina moms, they yeah. they get a chancla and they throw it at you to like wake up. And I feel like that's mother Ruth to Maya, because I feel like Maya is so talented and like if you could fucking backflip on the stage, you could fucking do anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. I, I, yeah. Oh, go ahead. Have you? Uh, disagreed with any of the eliminations that have happened so, uh, so far? No. Yeah. Oh, Mirage. <laughs> no, Mirage. Yeah, no, but you know, it, yeah, she didn't know her lyrics. Yeah. How, I was how so obvious sad. was it? Was it really obvious that she So, you it? know, people were saying that we didn't see it from them. We saw it. Yeah. Like, because she literally did that little spin, that iconic Mirage spin. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. She did that spin, and then the lyrics were happening, and she was like, <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh no! I got my binoculars, and I was like, oh no, sister. So yeah, I I feel like she would have probably One still been free. here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh, I really want to see how that's gonna. I'm go. I'm excited and nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I, bl I bl you know it, I blocked it out. Did I blocked you? out a lot of things. Yeah. No, no, actually I didn't. I remember every detail of that. Do you? Yeah. It was. Well, it's well I can't say nothing, but it's it yeah. was. It's, it was so much fun. Yeah, a after we see it, then yeah. we, can, we can elaborate and talk more. Yeah. Okay, so we've seen um, the gals come in um, and do their whole snatch game, what they're going to say with Rue. Um, do you think that it's safe to create a character, or do you think it's safe to do somebody that, that everybody kind of is on the same page with and, and knows something about, you know? I actually think it's better to create a character because you, nobody knows shit about the person you're creating. So you could literally say anything yeah. funny and people will laugh. For example, like if you're doing, who did Bad on Sketch Game? There's so many people. Season 14, for example, like everyone knew all the characters yeah. and they, it, yeah, you expected something from like, uh, like if you're doing Beyonce, right? She's, oh no, wait, who, who's, fu who's a funny character that somebody did that bombed? That bombed? Yeah. That bombed. Anybody here know? I don't want them in I my DMs. They I all get ah. great. Well, like, oh, like Katy Perry or something. You know what I mean? Right, like, right, you, right. you know what she gives. You know what Katy does. So, like, if you don't do and like, if you don't correlate what you're doing to what Katy's doing, it's just not going to give. Yeah. If you ma did a made-up character, you could do anything. The sky's the limit, you know? Totally. And I think it, it's really important what uh, Chad said. It's like, it's not about the illusion and acting just like that person. It's about being funny because there's a couple characters that have been so off and not really like the character, but have been hilarious. Hilarious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's if you're like Jinx Monsoon. Girl. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, girl. she she could teach a class on how to do snatch game. Uh, Aquaria was a good one. She was like that ro robot. Oh or yeah, remember? No, Gigi. That was Gigi, Gigi Good. Oh no, that oh, was she Gigi was, Good. Yeah. What was Aquaria? She Aquarius was like Mel Gigi. Melania. Oh, Melania. Yeah. yeah, that was sick. Still a robot. Oh. I, I said robot. <laughs> <laughs> Same shit. Um, you said okay. Melania's a robot? <laughs> yes. Same shit. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about, uh, we, we talked about your relationship with Plain Jane, but I want to know your relationship with the rest of the cast. You said you guys are all pretty close. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. At least with me. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I feel like I'm like the oracle of the season. Like, I get along with everyone. The oracle. I yeah, love that bitch. Yeah, like, like, I'm the bitch that, like, they call for advice if someone's fighting with Plain or, like... <laughs> Or if someone's fighting with plane, you know, uh, they're they're the ones that call me, you know, like sister, like you know. So yeah, who who did you get closest to on on your cast? Tsunami and Q. Oh, okay. oh, they're they're my best friends. We like talk every single day. Really? Yeah, yeah every single day. Well, Tsunami and I knew each other before, so like uh, we kind of we kind of knew we were gonna get on. So okay. I was like, I see you, and she has we have the same dead name, so I'm like, oh. It's, it's meant to be, you know? <laughs> well, for her, it's, you know, it's, it's not a dead name, but I always, because I always call her that. Um, but, uh, yeah, we, she is, like, one of my best friends of all time. Yeah. Like, I couldn't see the season without her in it. Yeah, I love that. Uh, speaking of, uh, you both knew that you were, like, auditioning you're going to be on. How many times did you audition for the show? Six. Six times. Ooh, oh, wow. No, that's yes. sickening. Yeah. And Safira, 11 times. Yeah. Oh, that, wow. That's when bitches get on their first time, like, wow, yeah. that's nice. Live. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. First things first. Was Tsunami as bad as it's translating right now on 
this episode. Hold on, because I need a moment, girl. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I also did bad, so. Um, oh, shit, my nail came off. Um, so, right, where's Cam? Hi, Cam. Girl, yes, to that to that question, yeah, yeah, yes. And also, I just want to say, can we give a round of applause to Maya Iman LePage? Because that bitch pulled it off. Absolutely. Out. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. yeah. She, she did, and it was she did smart. It was smart to do. She said, you know what? I'm going to be the cousin of Trina, which means I can do whatever the fuck I want. So yeah, yeah. good, no, good no, thing no. for her. It, it, yeah, it was good for her. There was a moment where Tsunami was looking at her like, bitch, she's doing this and I'm not. E- oh my God. Yeah, so the thing is, when you're there, it is so quiet. Like, disturbingly quiet. Like, I felt like I was in the back rooms. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like, you know what I mean? I was like, I, I'm not what here right now. What are y'all right doing? Girl, <laughs> it, I was like, what? It's, this is scary. I, I started, like, just, I was not even there. Like, I left. I was like, this is too much, you know? But, yeah, my poor, your tsunami was just like, it just wasn't good. Yeah. And neither was mine. I'm, I'm trying to talk shit, too, because, girl... But you know what? I, you had a you had some laughs in there where tsunami was was kind of challenging. They I kept know. fishing for her to like give I them know. something. No, Rue real. The thing with Rue is that he will throw a ball, and if you don't, because I'm not good at baseball, so I clearly <laughs> missed every shot. And tsunami wasn't even at the baseball event, so. <laughs> Yeah, at least I was at the event. I just, you know, did really bad, you know. But I love my girl Tsunami, and I hate seeing her do bad. Even if she does bad, I still think she she d- is doing good, except for today. What are my <laughs> What are my favorite things about this episode is, <laughs> you know, there's someone that gets a plain Jane gets a lot of hate on this show because of her no idea. outgoing. You know how she is. We all know she's just plain, but. It's gorge when someone could watch and you're like, I can't stand her because fuck, she's so good. Like, Girl. She's good. Was it funny oh. there in person as well? Oh my God, that shit was hilarious. Yeah. I hate her. Like, she's... Uh, she's literally like the. I, I thought I was the Regina George of drag. That bitch is the Regina George of drag. Oh yeah, she except, beats you. Except yeah, yeah, except less pretty. But you yeah, know, no, just, <laughs> oh, wow. I could say that she's my sister sometimes. What, what about Zafira? How was? Oh, like, that was so funny. Hilarious. That was so. I there was a there was a point. I I don't think it was shown where Rue. You know this. Uh, sometimes Rue laughs so hard that she's like about to choke. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Or like a little vein pops up or something. Yeah. That's when you know that bit, when she's about to explode. Yeah. Uh, she had one of those moments and I was like, oh. But you know, Safira and playing eight and destroyed. Yeah. And also Q did really good too. Yeah, yeah Q did really they good. They didn't show a lot of Q actually, no, right? No, they started yeah. off with her and she had like two, two times she yeah, spoke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, no. Nymphia had a few more times than Q. Um, but I feel like Oh they, my god, Nymphia, yes, she bombed too. I, I feel like oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel like they were trying to pull her like, hey, give us oh, something. Oh girl, she 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 was also not at the baseball event either. <laughs> uh I I love Nymphia though, but yeah. You know, the that moment when she pulled out I didn't even know she had a uh, the little puppet. puppet. Yeah. So the little when she did the monkey sounds, it was longer. It was probably like twenty seconds. Oh my god. No, I probably and we were there like <laughs> That's what I want to see. And like no one told her to stop. She yeah. kept going. Yeah. And I was like, oh no, yeah. That was, yeah. Not now good. one I expected to do really well was plasma. Not that she did bad, but um how was it there? So I was sitting next to her and I really I because I like Patty Lapone because she's from uh well, from what I don't come for me, Ooh. but <laughs> I've seen her only on American Horror Story. Okay, you gotta look up anything goes. That bitch lets. Yeah, ass. no, I know. No, then I after you know after seeing Plasma to her, I you know I researched her more. Yeah. I love that bitch. Patty is sickening. Yeah. She is. So, but I just I don't know. I feel like <coughs> I feel like Plasma gets a little ahead of herself sometimes, and I feel like that happened. But either way, it was great. Yeah. Like it was. I thought it was Got funny. It. Got it. Okay, well let's see who's top and bottom. Let's see. Huh? Okay, do y'all know who Kyra Sedgwick is? Yes, kind of. Kira Sedgwick is an American film and television actress this known for bitch. starring in Deputy Chief Brenda Lee Johnson in Closer. She won a Golden Globe in 2007, it's, and it's, she was born in 19 fucking hundred. It's Closer. It's Closer, not Closer. Uh, <laughs> bitch said Closer. Anyway, um, 
Who it's, the fuck? She's also married oh. to Kevin Bacon. Oh. Yes. Oh, now you know. Now, nope. I, now I mentioned the man, and all of a sudden it's like, oh, Kevin Bacon's wife. No, bitch, I still have no idea who that woman is, Harpo. Harpo, I don't know who that white woman is. I can't. <laughs> You're so... C- I can't even with you right now. <laughs> oh, you don't know who Kevin Bacon she, is either? She don't even know who Kevin no, Bacon no, is. No, no, I know who he is. He was the one in the uh, the white underwear doing the thing, right? No, bitch. Oh. That's Tom Cruise. What's wrong with you? Oh. Kevin Bacon's from Footloose. Oh, yeah. Oh, Why yeah. Why didn't they have him here? This is a fucking dancing runway. He, anyway. wasn't, ava- he wasn't available. But maybe. his wife was. Uh, she's n- okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, my love. So, <laughs> let's talk about you <laughs> working plain Jane, trying to get yourself a little potion. <laughs> Tell us how that go. Well, uh, now I'm pissed and embarrassed. I should have never went up to that bitch. Fuck that bitch. Yeah, you had no idea she said that till right now. You know, and you know what? Being her drag sister, like in the same family, I guess. Um, uh, oop, yeah. No, I'm kidding. No, she is. She's a little stingy and look, just just sister tea. Like you know, we're like friends. You know. Cheese me. Uh, I, n- now I know why she's been clinging on to the potion because in real life, when we would get an Airbnb or something, she's gonna get so mad. Oh my God. Bitch, I booked an Airbnb in New York, me, Q, and her to like, you know, just have fun in New York and party and kiki. And I booked the fucking Airbnb. And then the bitch gets there first and takes the master bedroom. That sounds very her. That sounds and then, right and, up her alley. And then I'm like, all right, playing enough jokes. Come on, get out. She's like, no, sister, no. I Did she like, call you a bitch after that too? <laughs> oh, I, oh, more than that. Okay. But but I was like, bitch. So she's stingy. So I get it. Damn. It's very I, on it brand. Makes, it makes for sense. It, it makes sense. It's it very on sense. brand. Yeah. It's very on brand. I love it. I feel like if I had the potion, I would have given it to her. Yeah. Would you not. have? Maybe in another universe. Yeah, I okay. think. No, so, I don't know. So wait, at this point, have they explained to you exactly how this potion would work? So for example, if Caramel and Batty are in the bottom. Can I be like, okay, wait, 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 right now, I want to give my potion to Batty and save her, and then there's no lip sync? Or, like, did they explain how it was yeah. going to go? So, for example, so you could, t- if you feel like you're in the bottom, so you, the thing is, they do it before they announce, but clearly, you know, you, you know when you know, you know right, what I mean? Right, right, right. So, uh, the way it works is if there's three bottoms, right, there's obviously going to be a fourth person <laughs> that was considered to be in the bottom or not. Right. So, if someone gets saved in the bottom, they go into the bottom three. Got you got me? And then, and if it's a lip sync assassin against a, a top girl, you, you know, that's how that, that's what they want, you know? But, um, yeah, she's stingy. I would be, though, too. She worked hard for that. Did she? Did she? (laughs) Did she? (laughs) Absolutely not. Okay. We've been doing a little game with all the girls. (laughs) We've been doing a little uh, tense, uh, very ballroom um, tease. We've either given them their tens or we're giving them a chop. Um... On the runway. So we're going to go through everyone, <laughs> and I want you to give them a chop, or I want you to give them their tens. Okay. It's and one not, or the other. And not we're fans. No, we're like, ah, it's a seven. No, there is no seven. It's a ten or a chop. Okay. We're going to start with uh, Dawn. Chop. I'm kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> um, that was quick. <laughs> um, what she, she did the... She did the... She's a polka dancer. What is that? <laughs> No, it's a genuine question. Uh, uh, I mean, what what does the audience think? Chop. Everyone said Shade. chop. I mean, y- y'all are shady. Listen, when RuPaul came out, I heard crickets and I heard whispering. Y'all are just shady. <laughs> Don't think I didn't clock y'all motherfuckers. Okay. I hear you. Uh, I, I, okay. I, I love Don. It, it would give us a soft chop. A soft chop. A soft chop. Yeah. Okay, what love about... Love you, Don. Oh, my God. What about Maya Iman? Okay. Girl, they read Wait. her. They said she looked like ketchup and okay, mustard bitch. and a pirate, bitch. How? That is not make me want to do this show. You know, it, it gags. It, it gave. It was giving, like, let me find something in my suitcase that's hip hop, the wig, and find some kind of reference to it. The pants. And throw on whatever I had in my suitcase. It, like, what? Do you know the I will, story behind I, I, it? Yeah, I will say, uh, I, I think I'm allowed. Yeah. yeah, of course so, you are. So her designer, one of her designers in Miami, 
she didn't bring six of her costumes. Uh huh. Like I, literally the day before she was flying. That. I think it's it was seven. So well, <laughs> I think it was. I, I think it was seven costumes because we all flew out on a certain day, and the literally hours before the flight, she was like in her bed, like just waiting for the designer to hit her up. Didn't hit her up. Never sent the costumes. Oh my so god. So I think that was one of the yeah. That's why I'm sure. Yeah, I'm 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 a little indifferent because I feel bad. Right. You know what I mean. Future reference right. for girls auditioning. Make sure you don't have one designer doing your whole yeah. package. But, but you know what? It's hard because when you do that, you there's so you go to this designer and he's like, well, I'm already making. Maya, Megami, Zaf- like yeah. everyone goes to yeah. the same right. fucking designers. Yeah. So like the recommendation is find somebody new that's willing to be like, I want to do this for you because yeah. I love it and I will stick with you, you know, that kind of thing yeah. because it, how many, I'm sure that you faced, did you face that? Like Actually with this runway. You see? my uh, That was my option B, the flamenco. Yeah. Because I, I know some of the comments have been saying that, you know, because I've been, I'm from, Ni- my parents are from Nicaragua, and, and you know, uh, uh, Spain is obviously not Latino. You know, people, a lot of people, you know, say that, and I, I agree. So my original dress was supposed to be a Nicaraguan dress with a basket of fruits, but the basket broke the day of, and my, co- my dress wasn't working, so I had to do that. But I'm going to post that later so that my Nicaraguan fans... Yeah, we want to see because, that. Because, you know, Absolutely. I really was going to do it. I was going to do it, but, you know, I just... Yeah, make some noise for Nicaragua, Yeah, look at that. You have a Nicaragua we have flag. Flag. Oh, yeah. Nicaragua. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, my I love God. That. Yeah. Shaney Palacio, baby, for the win. I yeah, we have a Miss that. Nicaraguan universe. Uh, Miss Universe. Wow. Miss Universe. Yes, yes, is from yeah, Nicaragua. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay, let's her. finish these before we oh, jump yeah, back in. Oh, yes. Okay. I'll just do it. Wait. I have Mirage on the list, but does anyone here think she would have came out as like a stripper? Like oh. dancer? <laughs> I thought that would be oh. so fierce if she that would have been so sickening. Anyway, uh, Nymphia. What was the yes? 10. Oh, 10. Yeah. yeah. Nymphia, yeah. Uh, Plain Jane? Top. Latin Chop. ballroom Chop. dancing. Top. T- I mean, 10 cents. Ten ten she looked really mad on that runway, yeah. didn't she? Yeah. She looked good. She looked good, but she looked mad. Plain? Oh, I'm sorry. Plasma. Uh, plasma. Plasma. She shuffled ball oh, change tens, on the radar. Bitch, yeah, tens. she fucking tapped. Tens. All right, Q. Chop. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> Saw the okay. runway. We got the critiques. How are yeah. we feeling right now? I think I'm in the top, bitch. Oh, my God. <laughs> First time. Um, no, it was, it was very accurate. Yeah, I agree. How were you feeling right then and there? Wait, because I was in the bottom last week, right? Undeserved, but you know, uh, <laughs> just kidding. But this, this, yeah, when I was there, I was like, oh, yeah, because you could tell. I mean, you, you know, when you're there, once, if there's like, when, when it starts off, the, when the critique starts off a little negative, that's, you're like, oh, I'm, yeah. So I just sat there and I was like, all right, keep going, all right, you know, that's it. I already knew I was in the bottom, but yeah. I, I, I was, re- since I finished the Snatch game, like on set, I knew already I was going to be in the bottom, so. Really, you, even knowing that there was a runway coming? Oh, yeah. So let me ask you this, because we always ask the girls this, too. Do you think that the runway plays into the judging at all? Um, a thousand percent. But In what aspect? It, uh, so, for example, like, if there's always going to be three people in the bottom, yeah. unless Rue decides that day. It's, everybody's in the bottom, you know? Okay. But there's always three okay. people. What deciphers who's lip syncing is obviously the runway. I mean, because if your runway is gaggy, okay, bitch, you're safe. You know what I mean? So it's very that. So you, you think the runway plays that, fa- that like, last deciding factor? A thousand yeah. percent, yeah. I th- and I think that it's safe to say that, too. Like, it's like that one thing where you just don't know who to choose from, and you turn to the runway to, like, Decide, kind mm-hmm. of, right? I think that's fair, cause yeah. girl, I mean, what, what is you know the what's the runway yeah. for, bitch? You know, no, you absolutely. gotta see the runway, but absolutely. Michelle complimented my makeup, so that that's kind. Yeah. You Wait, know, no, you look, <gasps> and you look absolutely beautiful. It's thank safe you, to you. say you have one of the most stamp mugs we've seen on the show. Really? Truly, um, let me. Thank I want to ask you, how did you get into makeup, and like, what made you want to do this? I used to be a makeup... Well, I used to watch, like, anime and stuff, and then I started becoming... A, I, I used to draw on papers, 
Like, you know, like, I would be bored. I was never good in high school. I was like 2.3 GPA. So uh, every, I was just doodling and, and, you know, in class. And then I started doing makeup on people. And then, I, and then I saw the show. My first season of Drag Race was season six with Adore Delano yeah. and Bianca, obviously. Okay. Uh, and Courtney Act, whatever. Uh, so I watched that. And it's so crazy. Ten years later, we're on 16, which is crazy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then I just started painting myself, watching a bunch of YouTube tutorials. Yeah. And then uh, there's one queen that my mug is actually inspired by, and it's Valentina. I'm obsessed with her. When she followed me, I, it felt like RuPaul followed me. Okay. Uh, she's my RuPaul. You know? Have you met like, her? I, Have you met her in No, person? I haven't. But Loves she comments on my stuff and I like pass out every time. She's the, one of the sweetest girls. To me, her makeup, obviously besides Raven, is one of the best yeah. ever. Yeah. So yeah. You know that, no, you, totally yeah. I have a lot of inspirations, no, yeah. but... And recently, it's just so like it looks just so effortless too. Have you seen her recently? She was, blue. Not, she she, was blue. She she so she changed gorgeous. it up a bit. It's not like as drag. Yeah. Um, but she and looks it, and it looks just so sickening with her hair. She's long now and oh, she looks. She's sickening. everything to me. Yeah, honestly. Yeah. Her love. shout out to Valentina. We love you, girl. Hey, girl Te amo, mi amor, Valentina. Speaking of other, we're talking about uh, oh, we're and we're back. Ooh, I love Untucked. Okay, okay. Ooh, I want everyone drama. in the room to make some noise for Morphine slaying that lip sync. Baby! Baby! I also, I also want to point out that, that I also want to point out that we had a guest who was not eliminated. YouTube. Um, <laughs> you fuckers. <laughs> anyway, but listen, uh, I got this little shot. We're going to do a quick little shot. Uh, our Morphine, our girl's a party girl, so we're going to cheers to her. Everyone, do you want to say, do you yeah, want to do it? Uh, let's do this the Latina way, okay? Yeah, so everyone, salada. get your drinks up in the air and follow me on three. One, two, three. Pa arriba. Pa abajo. Pa el centro. Pa dentro. Girl, wow. my dress broke in the back. Ah. Did my back get bigger all of a sudden? Uh, oh, <laughs> that, was, that was huge. Okay, so let's talk about this oh. lip sync. First of all, when you and Tsunami kissed, I got so emotional. Um, no one, unless you experience it, you guys don't know how fucking stressful this is. Can you elaborate on that? Because being in the bottom is not an easy thing. It, it's not, and it's the thing is, it's like I uh, I suffer from anxiety a lot, you know. So in that moment, it was like my anxiety was high to a point where I just couldn't feel it anymore. So and especially knowing that I'm against tsunami, I just went into fight or flight mode, and I just like the song played, and I just I was like I have to do what I got to do. But during that moment, because we really thought. It was either going to be Nymphia or me or Nymphia or her. Because, you know, when we were there, we were like, oh, Nymphia did the worst. <laughs> but we were like, oh, it's us. So, uh, you know, it was, it, was a, a way, it was emotional on television. But in person, it felt like, it felt like I killed her, you know? Like I stabbed her. Like when I kissed her, I, I gave the kiss of death is basically what I, what I felt like I did to her. And uh, there was, it felt like Jujubee and Raven when they lip synced, you know? You remember that? So it was very that. And uh, even like when we finished um, the lip sync, we were hugging and crying. I don't know, I, I, I didn't know, I don't know if they showed that, but we were crying so much. But um, it was, you know, it was an honor to be with her there. That's my best friend, but thank you guys for thinking I slayed. Ah! <laughs> All right, so there is a portion of the show where we do Q&A, and we usually kind of do our shout-outs then, but we're going to do the shout-outs now yeah. so that we can get as many uh, Q&A questions for Morphine later on because I know we're going to have quite a few for her. So uh, let's go ahead and shout-out all uh, the VIP members. Thank you so much for joining VIP, for leaving your beautiful comments um, and watching in. Uh, tuning in. I said watching and tuning in together. Anyway, so shout out starting with Skittles over in Brooklyn. Hi, Skittles. We want to shout out to Andy in Boston for watching us every week. 
Yes. Netta in Hawaii. I Aloha. was wondering if that was Miss Netta, but it's not. No, <laughs> it's not Miss Netta. But <laughs> okay. Aloha. Hello to Alexandra in San Jose. To Dylan in London. Hi, Dylan. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Nelson in Newark. To Tasty. Bitch. All right, come on, Tasty. <laughs> to Tasty and Ari in Burlington. Hi. Thank you for watching. Hello to Nico all the way in Milan. Thank you for tuning in every week. Shout out to Mina in Portland. Hello to my good friend Kim in Denmark. And my friend Oriana in Los Angeles. Hi, Oriana. Thank you guys all so much for watching. If you haven't joined VIP and you would like to watch the viewing party on Friday as soon as it's released, go ahead and join. It's two dollars a month a dollar 99 yeah. bitch. so last week i said some I, I said something like just join it's two dollars i'll pay for your shit i'll give you the ten dollars there's a there's someone that <laughs> went into my venmo shut up and requested shut the fuck up the ten dollars say their name please who is oh, that i'm gonna say, say it I got, i'm gonna say it so they requested the ten dollars <laughs> on cash out um and oh, hold on, let me see. I want to thank you so much for making her mad. No, 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 it, you didn't make me mad, boo. Yeah. <laughs> I boo. can't find it. Oh my God, where? Who knows how to mess with cash out? I, I, I do. Um, find the. Oh, of course she does. Of course no, she does. does. With a face you? like that and a BBL, honey. Oh my God, uh, she's selling something. No, I'm not involved in a pure whiskey, I promise. It's, uh, but if you send me five, I'll send you ten, and then I'll send you fifteen later. It's you know, it'll work. Yeah, and we'll go back and forth. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I I did not want to accept it until oh I, Cody. Cody, yes, that's the one. Cody. Reborn. Okay, so. Uh, let's how do we how and do then we it says Cody then yeah. his hashtag is Cody Allen R that's it so Cody you little shit there yeah! you go motherfucker ah! there's your 10 motherfucking dollars now go back to YouTube and if I don't find your ass on VIP management we're gonna start looking for that Cody motherfucker <laughs> Wait, we um, better find your ass cause I paid for your shit for at least what five months is Cody that? yeah you just got five free months of this shit five free months <laughs> Now, don't start getting ideas, motherfucker. Okay, don't start bitch. sending me shit. Because now they're like, wait a minute, let me ask Miss. At Nasha Lopez. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Next um, thing you know, I'm paying motherfuckers' bills. Okay. Do, I have, do I have to pay? No, absolutely not. Oh, no. Okay. You'll pay? I could pay. Okay, go. Yeah, <laughs> you could pay. <laughs> okay, so right now you're on. Right, wait, did you make it backstage yet? And yes, they've come you're, back. You're, in. You've come back. The energies. Oh yeah, plane. Of course, she's plane, fighting with plane everyone. Is fighting with Q. Let me ask you this: What is your take on it? Are you on the same page as Zephira, or are you offended the way Q is? Um, the thing with plane. Uh, we're coming back to that. I, I was like, who was I, speaking I, Spanish there? She goes, I don't know if that was me or Nymphia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it definitely was a Nymphia girl. Okay, it was. It was no Tsunami. Yeah, yeah. I do love that. Uh, and Batty pointed it out. I was as I'm watching it. Uh, Kira Cedric, you can tell who loves drag and who's really a fan and who's just there for either the paycheck or just to be on the show. Like, did you notice Kira's not sitting in the director's chair and she's sitting in the couch next to the girls, yeah. talking to the girls, like really, I mean, goes to the drag shows. I love that. Did you get that energy from her? I did, yeah. She... Some of the guest judges, honestly, uh, can be so welcoming. And, like, you know, they, they are they're a literal fan of Drag Race. So, like, they're there, they're excited. And she was one of those people that, like, even when I asked the question, she gave such an amazing response. And I was like, damn, bitch. Sickening. Yeah, you can tell that was a, a, a true fan of, yeah, of Even drag. when she walked away, she was still bantering with you guys. She's like, look at my little ass. Like, yeah. you could tell that she definitely loves Oh, this. I think Sarah Michelle Geller also, which, Sarah Michelle Geller. Yeah. Love. Um, she sat in the in the couch too. And did um um Jador, what's her name? I can't think of it right now. Charlize there. Charlize. Did Charlize sit with you guys in the chair or did she do direct? I think she did sit in the chair, right? I don't right? remember. No. Yeah, I don't remember either. Yeah. It was mm. too early. Yeah. It was a was long was time ago. You know who you know who episode. you know who didn't sit in who the chair? Who didn't sit in the chair? <laughs> La Roach, but that's cause she's mother. La, <laughs> La Roach is my I'm sorry. I want La Roach to be a permanent guest judge. Yes. He was getting the girls together. 
She gets the girls together, bitch. She don't play. No, you know, it was so all. it was so funny because I thought I was like, bitch, you were doing too much. And I went back and I watched the episode again. No, she was on it. She was on it. Well, I it, actually really enjoyed her yeah. as uh, as a judge. Yeah, I watched all seasons of Legendary, and she was ooh, a good judge on that. She I had yeah. fallen in love. Oh yeah, bitch. When Miss Kiki had read her, and she Girl. said, "You, you ate, ate that." that. <laughs> I live. It's so fierce. I love it so much. If I was Geneva, I would have been like, you ate that. You ate that. Okay. Yeah. She said she had, what, Denny DeVito legs? <laughs> I had gagged when she said that. And that's why I had thought it was too much because I'm like, don't read that child like that. But she Is that why she called her La Cucaracha? Yes, she called her La Cucaracha. <laughs> Uh, um, Geneva called Geneva her. Geneva did. She was here and she called Law Road. She's like, oh, yeah, whatever, La Cucaracha. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm oh, my God. All right. Are we, are we going to see what happens next week? Are you turning No, it they already showed oh. it. Oh, did they? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Sorry, bitch. Uh, okay. Shot's uh, give in it up for Tsunami, please. Um, we will have Tsunami here next week. So uh, please come by. Uh, are we sold out next week? I think we're sold out. Yeah. So just standing room. But please come by and say hello to Tsunami Muse. She will be in the house next week. Show her all the love. Yes, absolutely. Um, I could listen to her talk. Her accent is so beautiful, I know, by the I'm way. I am excited. I could just, and oh, the ease she just speaks. I just love listening to her. Um, we're going to do uh, some Q&A really quick with the audience. But before we do, we're going to do a rapid round of questions with uh, Morphine, and feel free to answer, yes. Oh, okay. Um, also, everyone up at the front bar, hi Roscoe's everyone at the front, thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna go ahead and start playing some music up there. Feel free to kiki and have cocktails and do the most. Kiki. But if you'd like to join us for the Q&A, you're more than welcome to come back here. So bye Roscoe's. Okay, and scene, let's go. Okay, we're gonna do a quick so rapid funny. Q and A. So feel free to answer them as quickly as possible, and we'll just keep throwing them at you, okay? Uh, did you want me to start? Is that, or are you going to yeah, start? Yeah, you start. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start. Okay, really quick. This is from Jarvis in, Il in Alabama. From Avengers? Yeah, <laughs> yeah oh. this is Jarvis. And he or she or they, why do you think it is so... <laughs> Bitch, because, you know, they'll come for you. Bitch, thank they'll you. They'll let for, you have thank it. Thank you for fixing they that. They will let you have it. Uh, anyway. Jarvis, they said, why do you think it is so hard for queens from the South to get on the show? Why do they like the L.A., Vegas, and New York City queens so much more? Uh, that's, that's kind of a weird question because I feel, wait, the South as in, like, like why Florida, do you think, yeah, like, why do you, Yeah, like, why do you think it took so long? Like, there was two Miami queens. Yeah, yeah. Before that, you had maybe, what, one? Yeah. Maybe one Miami queen? Malaysia. Yeah. Um, oh, Latrice. Shit, no. And also... Um, Latrice. Latrice. Vivian Sir Panay. Serena oh, Chuck. There's, there's been Serena. a few. We can keep going. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like I feel like it's been a while since they haven't casted like, so like girls from the South. But I feel like now they will after Maya and I. I think so, too. I think you know? so, too. So, yeah. All right. This question is from Tony Scarlett, 816. What other reality competition show would you love to be on? Ooh, I want to be on the Squid Games Challenge. Ooh. I wanna, Squid Games. Yes. I want to be. Uh, I know two people there. I think they're going to watch this. So, Paul. No, wait. Sam and Katz. Love you. I want to be on season two of Squid Games, ch the challenge. I also want to be on. Oh, my God. What? What is that? I don't know. Big Brother as well. Big Brother. Um, oh, my God. What's the other one? Uh, Survivor. Traitors. Traitors. Circle. Traitors. And maybe House of Villains. House Even of though villain. I'm not a villain, but I, I, I could oh. be. Real okay. Housewives of Miami. The Drag Edition. From Zachary in Goldsboro, North Carolina. Zachary wants to know, you said on the show that your parents don't know you do drag. What is your relationship like with your parents now after Drag Race? Same. <laughs> Hannah Montana live. Yeah. Okay. Work. <laughs> All right. This is from Joshua Bowen, 8931. We see that Lush is a sponsor of Untucked. Was there Lush in the hotel rooms as well? And what are your favorite Lush products? And by the way, Sean, our manager, is a Lush super fan. So if anyone from Lush is watching, please send some love to Roscoe's. But... <laughs> Also, it's it, it's gonna be Sean's birthday today at midnight. So ah, yes, send, him some, send, send, some, send lush. him some lush stuff uh, for his birthday. He would absolutely love that. 
in high school when, you know, Tumblr was a thing, all the American apparel girlies were all obsessed with Lush. So I would say the bath bombs, all the bath bombs, were my tea. From Hyper Lazyful, <laughs> from who knows where, uh, wants to know, your makeup artistry is nothing short of transformative. Can you share with us the inspiration behind your signature makeup looks and how you've honed your skills over the years? I would say beauty influencers like Patrick Starr. They're all problematic, so I don't know. Uh, I was going to say, be careful, girl. Uh, yeah, Patrick Starr. Everyone's canceled, I think. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, I, and obviously people like Valentina, Crystal Versace, Sugar and Spice, their makeup I think is so stunning. That's why, well, not today I didn't do it. I did raccoon eyes today. So uh, usually they do like the bottom lashes. Like they draw, I do that. So I don't know. The, uh, I'm inspired by so many queens, honestly. And canceled uh, YouTubers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is from a super fan, Trander89. Um, who are you rooting for on UK vs. the World, if you are watching it? I haven't had the moment to watch. I was rooting for Mayhem Miller because I love her. <laughs> Why are y'all laughing? I, uh, uh, um, uh, <laughs> stop stirring the fucking pot. Mayhem, I love you, Mayhem. We don't do, we don't do spoilers here. We love you, Mayhem. I love Mayhem. I think she, she, was, uh, we, she was on set when we were doing the promo, and she's one of the sweetest souls. Like, I love her. I, she's my auntie. But I'm sorry. Marina Summers? She is that girl. I'm a Filipina. Is that her thing? Yeah, she's I'm from uh, I love that. Filipino drag race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right? She okay, is sickening. I, I, I love her. She is sickening. All right. This is from Mayelt. Right? Is that right? Or what is that? Is that right? Girl, these people and their usernames. Anyway, Mayel, 4347, down on all four. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I want to see if y'all were paying attention. Oh, my God. Did you see me? I, I wanted to see it. if y'all were paying attention. I was like, you got another anyway, note, no. bitch. Can you tell us the story behind your name? Oh, my gosh. So uh, are there any Lady Gaga fans in the audience? Which, which quick uh, sidebar. Uh, does anyone play Fortnite? Damn. You have one individual. I can't, I can't figure out so how no, to get I'm out just of saying Lady sky. Gaga just released a Fortnite skin, whatever. Irrelevant. But um, so there's a music video that she did called Marry the Night. And in one of the scenes, I think she's like in the hospital bed. And one of the nurses says, good morning, Morphine Princess. And my 15-year-old self said, I like that. I'm going to put that on all my usernames. And then until two years ago, I didn't know it was a narcotic drug. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, I, did, I had no idea. I was like, it's just my name, period. Oh, girl. So I stuck with it, you know? <laughs> I love that introducing yourself. Hi, I'm morphine. They're like, what? No, it's 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 crazy. What's for, the problem? It's crazy for four, like in Costa Rica. Oh my god, in Costa Rica, I uh, who, anyone from Costa Rica here? Costa Rica? Damn. So yeah, no. There was I kid you not, fifteen hundred people, and they were screaming morphine, and it was just like funny, cause they, you know, like who does that? Whatever. <laughs> Costa Ricans apparently. I know. All right, next one. Uh, do you have the next one or do I have the next um, one? I, I have it. Um, you have it. So I can't pronounce this. Musin, maybe? I think it's Musin. Musin? Musin. From Musin, Nottingham. Um, yeah. Do you work at Sephora? Musin. Have you worked at Sephora? Tell us the tea. I love that fucking meme. It's so fierce. Do you work at Sephora? <laughs> that and the ladybug meme, girl. Okay. I'm going to do a ladybug look. look soon. Watch. Um... So I, uh, I auditioned, audition. Uh, yeah, I did. I auditioned for Sephora when I was like 17. I got declined. And then I worked at Macy's uh, as a beauty advisor for six months. Um, and then I became a drag race superstar. But what? yes, I was in the, in the field of beauty. I was for sure. Detox and I, were, we were watching it. And we saw when well, you walked in the workroom. And if you watch the episode, we're like, leaning and talking and we're looking at that meme we're like this is hilarious and so fucking it was uh, morphine runs the uh, the sephora like a yeah. navy <laughs> yeah whoever made that you're rotted thank you <laughs> okay the next one is um okay this is we we got this question from so many people that we're just gonna say it's from everyone if you wrote it yes it's from you um they want to know what is your favorite uh, Kali Uchi song. 
Uh, when I ask this question, I want everyone to scream. Any Kali Uchis fans? Oh my god. Um, oh, that's so hard. Uh, hey Siri, thing. who's Kali Uchi? Bitch. <laughs> oh. Are you serious? I'm serious. But you know, that's what the problem is that when they when you walked in and that was your reference. Yeah. yeah and yeah, then yeah. people are like, oh, it's just it, the it, top it, and a bottom. For know? me, it was just like if you get it, you get it. If you don't, you don't. Right. You know, whatever. But anyways, my favorite Kali Uchi song would have to be. Telepathia. Yeah. yeah, and I'm also performing that tonight. So, Wait. the Kali Uchi stand stand to the front. Thank when you. she when you perform it and she hears it, she's gonna be like she's gonna be like oh, oh. and she'll get it. But the one that I'm listening to <laughs> right okay. now, wait. I like Dame un beso muévete from. Is that from yes. the new one? I'm oh my in god, love with that song. so good, it's so, so good. good, it's so lovely. I like all her music. All her yeah. music's fine. Yeah. Okay, all right, we ahead. have another question from John Carlo. Cake or pie, and which kind? One more time? Cake or pie, and which kind? Do you prefer cake or pie? And if so, which kind? I prefer cake, cake and candy. Cake and candy. Yeah. So you prefer cake. No, no pie. No you don't pies? like pie. No fruit pie? I mean, pies? It, it depends on the pie. <laughs> what's you know? a, what's your favorite type? Is this a sexual type? question? I'm confused. What? No. <laughs> no. No? It's literally cake or pie. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes, bitch. Positive. No, that's like a right. vanilla cake or a chocolate cake. A, Key lime She's pie. literally uh, in her head trying yeah, to turn I'm into like, a sexual. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm not trying to turn. I thought it was. Um, I like those Latin the the Latino cakes with other fruits on top. Do you know what I'm talking oh, about? Oh yeah, yeah. But yellow cake, chocolate cake, like that, inside. That's not where we. Yellow. <laughs> uh, that, that's what she's talking about. <laughs> no. Um, I pr yeah, cake. What were you talking about? I don't know. Did it I go thought over she my was, head? I, no, I thought she was talking about tres leches, and you were like, no, with all the fruit on top. Oh. I don't. I didn't have that uh, one. Next question, please. Okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. Next one. Next one. Uh, okay, this is from here. Jack in Durham, England. As the mugged up makeup queen of the season, who are your favorite mugs and makeup queens from past seasons? Valentina, 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 Valentina. Uh -huh. uh, Sugar and Spice, Crystal Versace, uh -huh. Raven, uh -huh. RuPaul, so Raven. So Raven. Uh, <laughs> who else? Um, I think Aquaria has a good Oh my bait. god, yeah. Aquaria has a really good base. Um, who's like, oh my god. Uh, who else is really good? You know who's gorgeous? Who? Simona. Simone. Oh, beautiful. The Stunning. skin. Is the just, skin. Oh my I god. wish. Oh, I so know. Beautiful. She just lives on tequila. Uh -huh. <laughs> so Sasha that's Velour has good paint. She I like does, her paint. She does. Yeah. She does. All right, we're Amanda Tory meeting. Um, Ooh, which, by the way, which, wait, 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 wait. Said? I, I heard you. That's why I said it. Uh, she said a mandatory meeting. Also, can we give it up? She's one of my, my sisters. I am obsessed with her. She's now one of my besties. Her makeup now is so amazing. Can we give a huge shout out to a mandatory meeting? Amanda, we love you. We, we love you, Amanda. We had her here, and I told her exactly the same thing. What I told her was, I'm like, if your makeup looked like this on the show, I don't know why the fuck they're talking so much shit because it, it looked so good. It, it yeah. did. It looked good. It looked clean. Also, that one episode where they keep putting, like, zooming in on her face and how fucked up it looked. Do y'all realize that that bitch had a hood on and she had she had completely covered her face in her runway. Oh, the th yeah. And that had fucked up everything. Like, you could tell the difference from when she came out of the hood and when she was, like, before... Like, I'm like, will you give her a fucking break? I know, I know. But I, I felt I, so bad. I, I love her now. Well, I did we before. her here. I didn't, uh, apparently, I didn't like her episode one, which was true. <laughs> but now, but after that, I'm, you know, we became so close, and I love Amanda so much. And she is stunning, beautiful, in and out of drag. I love how she'll break, break the, the wall and just look at the camera like, Deadpan. I'm like, this is this bitch don't care. You love when they do that. The <laughs> I one love that it. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do we have any questions in the audience for Morphine? We got one right here. Stand up for me and tell me your name. Jimmy. Uh, what song did you pick for the first like lip sync performance that you did? Ever? Yes. Well, it was a mega mix, honey. Cause you know, <laughs> you know Alyssa Edwards. That that that's what yeah. I do. Like the mega mixes. So I would yeah. say, like my first performance ever. Yeah, in drag. In drag. Yeah, um, I think it was, it was SZA. SZA. Yeah, it was, um, 
Weirdly enough, I think it was like Broken Clocks or something like that. Yeah. Weird, I know. Batty, what was your first ever drag song? Um, I did Panda Replay by Rihanna, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It doesn't sound like that. A word. But I will okay. say, it was that, and then it went into Lady Gaga, Britney Spears, yeah. Rihanna. You so did yeah. all the girls. Yeah, all the girls. <laughs> all right, stand up for me, baby. What's your name? I'm Juan, and I'm from Colombia. Ah, que pena. I love Caliuchis. Uh, oh, and I was wondering if you could collab with her to be in a video, which song would you like to be? From the new album? Or all albums, anyway. Caliuchis. Caliuchis, if you're watching, I would love to be in Diosa with you. Please. Pongme en el video, por favor. That's a good question. Yeah, that was a good one. I know, she used to follow me on Twitter and then she unfollowed me. And she, oh! Did but, she unfollow but wait, you? But, but she followed, I think it was, I, I'm kind of a fan. So she followed like 320 people. She only followed me, Aja, and Bretman Rock. And then she went into this whole like, oh, pretentious mode. I could talk shit about her. I'm a fan. So uh -huh. she went into this whole pretentious thing, and then she unfollowed everybody and only followed 100 people, and I was one of the ones she took out. Wow. So but it, yeah. let me ask you this. Do you have to go individually by each one and unfollow? I think her team did that. Oh, That's well, what that I'm telling okay. myself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know? But I love her either way. I, I'm obsessed. All right. We okay, got, hi. We will gotta... you stop reading that man's text messages and... <laughs> They're all up oh, in I your Oh, I caught phone, you, bitch. You, they are you're all setting up, up a four-way tonight. Bitch. Hi. What's your name? Robbie. <laughs> okay, so you exposed who Zanami's crush was, but who is your crush on the season? Oh, my God. <laughs> um, uh, I, I, I had one crush in the beginning, and it was Mirage. Out of drag. Oh, cute. And then, yeah, and then she left... And then I just started to know her, and I was like, oh, I'm good. Oh. <laughs> You're lying. You're lying. I'm sorry, girl. One thing about me, I like trade. I like, I, you know, I, I, yeah, I mean, I don't. So, you know, that's my sister. I love her. I love that. You're like, oh, my God, you're so cute. Then you hear the talk, sister. and you're like, oh, sis. All right, we got a question here. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dean. Nice to meet you. Hi. Um, honestly, I just wanted to tell you, A, love you. been watching you for a long time. So happy you made it on the show. Your whole house is sickening. Oh, thank you. But <laughs> Dion. how did you navigate being in the closet in your house being that girl? Like, how did that not, I'm not shading you at all. No, no, I no, love no, no. you. But like, how did they not know and how did you like, how has that conversation gone with your parents since being on the show? Oh, like being a, a, a local celebrity in Miami yes, and still like high. How, like, it's impossible. That's why I always like, say this. If, you're known if, for your mug. Like, bitch, I watched you to get, like, makeup tips and drag. Like, no oh shit. Oh, my God. Thank yes, you. I Thank love you. you. Like, it, that's a good question because it's, like, my whole thing. It's, like, if I'm able to get on Drag Race with my situation, anybody could do it, bitch. You know what I mean? But, um, you know, my parents, uh, they... Um, they think I'm like a hairstylist or something, or like a makeup artist. So they see the wigs, they see the stuff, and like, it's something that we don't talk about. But yeah, it, it, yeah, like I have drag in the hallway, I have drag in their room, I have drag in my sister's room, I have drag in the closet downstairs, I have drag in my grandma's. Uh, yeah, I do. She, she, she look still around lives the house? with her parents, yeah. Baby, that root check hasn't hit yet, so I'm waiting. <laughs> Okay. I'm, sorry, I'm, I don't, I'm all about like, you know, especially Latinos. We live, we like to live all together. That's like our thing. My grandma lives with me. My cousin lives with me. It's very that. I'm not ashamed of that because that's like sometimes Latino culture. Like we all like to be together. Yeah. And we, we don't, we're very like, you get married to move out of the house. Like you get married yeah. and you move out. My dad still doesn't like, want me to move out, but I'm like, yeah. no, baby, I gotta go. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. If you move out before, they're like, what's wrong? Why are you leaving? I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. offended. No, but you know, it's always a smart, I mean, I, uh, a lot of my drag race sisters, they still live, some of them still live with their parents. I'm not gonna name because it's not my thing, but <laughs> it's something that, you know, you save money and then later on in life you move out when you have money and you're stable. Hi, stand up. So she can see your beautiful face. What's your name? I'm Brandon from Puerto Rico. Oh, I, Puerto Rico. I was Rico. just there. Puerto, Puerto Rico. Yes. Um, I'm just really curious about your opinion. Do you think Megami should have gone home before a mandatory meeting? That's an interesting question. Wow, we broke it it's, down. It, it's the, the giggle for me that you... Okay. Right now, you're like... 
Um, ooh, I mean, I feel like everything happens for a reason. I'm going to give a pageant answer. I'm your contestant number three, Morphine Love, Dion Lopez. Um, and I think that everyone is amazing and um, everyone, everyone's time will come. Any question and answer that was for me. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> Very lovely second alternate. Okay. <laughs> Hi, love. I just want to say um, you look stunning oh, and yeah. you're always... Okay, hold Thank on. Thank you. You look beautiful and your makeup is amazing and I just need to know what setting spray you're using. But my question is, at, as a Latina, you have achieved so many milestones and I just want to know what's the next milestone in your, in your chapter, you know? Oh, so, oh that's a good question. Besides being a non-canceled YouTube celebrity in the future, um, I want to make music in Spanish soon. And I also want to do a tour where I do makeup on other queens, like Miss Fame. Yeah, I love so that. So I'm working on a lot of things. And also, we soon might start an all-Latina tour. What? From your favorite Latina drag race sister I love yeah. that yeah. So, I live. you know I, I, I feel and also I feel like uh, Centro America is becoming so huge after you know uh, Shaney's winning so I want to tour in Centro America and give the children what they need what they want and what they deserve yes oh, you got a question back here what's your name baby uh, Matthew from Milwaukee uh, Morphine, you are so gorgeous and talented, and Thank everyone you. has been saying that you are the best painter of season 16. Thank you. Out oh. of all the other girls on your season, who would you pick as the next best painter? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, who said that? Oh. Shady over there. Ooh, uh, I, I love you. That's, you know, because that was my answer at first. But um, <laughs> I think the next best painter... They're all painters. They don't douche well, but... Um, <laughs> oh my I'm just God. kidding, I'm just kidding. If you didn't get that, just, you yeah, don't want to yeah. get that. Uh, no. <laughs> I think the next best painter after me would have to be Don. And... Oop, you're shady. Wow. They said Don. But bitch, wait, 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 wait. It came from after the man who asked it. So it was like way back. What it, what's that person's oh. name? Well, Busy. there's a difference between mug and paint because a mug is like bone structure. You know, in the ballroom scene, mug is like bitches walk the, the ballroom scene with no makeup. Right. So if we want to talk about mugs. Tsunami has a great mug. You know what I mean? Like in and out of drag. But I feel like the best painter for me would be like Safira. Dawn, Tsunami. Who else is in my season? I forget. Geneva, no, not that one. Uh, this is what we wanted. This is what I wanted. To, this is what I want to see. Oh my God, an underrated paint is Nymphia. Nymphia? She paints good, yeah. yeah. She just got her nose done too. Um, so who else? Ooh, what? Ooh. Yeah, I think that's it. Healing energy for her. That's All it. right, we no got another else. question She's right gonna here. She's going to kill me, girl. That was a secret. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Morphe. It's Jay. Oh, this, we got to be quiet uh, for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This whoa, one's whoa. real Oh, my God, baby. wearing my merch. Baby, uh, everyone, yeah. look, my merch. Turn around, turn around, turn around. Yes. Oh. Baby, what is it's this the, the bass and the voice. I heard okay. it. Okay. Also from Big Quiet. Too. Everybody quiet. All right. I just wanted to know what your favorite fritanga spot in Miami is. Oh. Wait, wherever can you repeat at. the question just for my, just for me? Answer is wherever you're at. As a fellow Nika myself, what is your favorite fritanga place in Miami? Fritanga? Nobody knows what fritanga is? Yes. Yes. Oh, who, who knows what a fritanga is? Fritanga, it, fritanga is a, a Nicaraguan cuisine restaurant. Okay. So we have a lot of those in Miami. And I would have to say Leonesa. Um, yeah, that one. Is that my, the thing is, my mom buys it, and she just takes it home, so I just eat it. La Leonesa in uh, Calle Ocho. Do we have any You know exactly questions? which one, honey. We got one more question. Okay, make it good. Make it good, boo. Okay. What's your name? Luis Felipe de Mexico. Hola, Hi. Luis. And my question is, out of the cast, who do you want to slap the shit out of? <laughs> oh. 
Other no. than plain no. Jane. Oh, I, other I, other than plain Jane? Other than I said plain. you had to make it a good one. You didn't have to go that hard. I live. Bitch, it was good. I live. I live. <laughs> Who do you want to slap the shit out of? Other than who said other than plain Jane? Me. There's Can we change list. the um, I heard Maya. I heard banana. <laughs> you heard Pokemon? I Did heard Batty. Pokemon. <laughs> you know, if it was if it was Bad Girls Club, when we, you know, in which we are allowed to throw a punch. Yeah. I feel like if if I was Amanda, right? Uh huh. I would be the first bitch to throw a punch on Drag Race. On Drag Race. Oh, Boots. absolutely. And I'm sorry. Right. Boots. Plain Jane. Yeah. <laughs> I I thought it could have gotten there for a second. It Pitch was getting too. it was I, getting really I really don't tense. Condone violence. No, Nisha, I shut don't. The fuck up. However, <laughs> but who watches baddies? It would have been <laughs> and Bad Girls Club. So, have you guys ever heard of the one fight that actually happened? Like an actual? Supposedly, there's one physical fight that actually happened. Like on Drag Race. Was, yes, Ooh, and it tea. was between who would you say? Yes, it was between Shangela and um, uh, me, 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 uh, me, me, I'm first. Oh, with the like, eyes. Like, it supposedly got like actually physical. I thought she just do the drink. Yeah, no, 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 I, no. Oh. It got like physical. Like they got into an actual physical altercation, which I feel like we need to revisit. No, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. <laughs> You're like, let's let's bring <laughs> violence just back. Kidding. You know I'm those girls of the House of Edwards like to put do, their hands listen, up. Listen, do bitch. not come for me. Honey. I am not condoning violence. She I'm said, let's saying. bring violence back to Drag Race. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, no, 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 no. Ladies and I'm gentlemen, at 10.30 p.m., the Friday Night Lights cast will be joining us, and we'll be performing with our very special guests. Please make some noise for the very lovely and talented Morphe! Morphe! I want to keep talking shit. What'd you say? I want to keep talking shit. You want to keep talking shit? Yeah. Okay. That's how you know it's a good one, because you want to keep. You just want to keep talking. But ladies and gentlemen, did you have a good time tonight? Yes? Yeah. Gorgeous. Please make some noise one more time for our guest, Morphine. <laughs> keep that energy going for Ms. Betty Davis. <laughs> make some... Also, make some noise for the birthday girl who couldn't be with us today because she's not feeling well. Make some noise for Kara. Kara. Go show her some love on her social media. And please make some noise for the beauty. <laughs> Give it up for my girlfriend, Nisha Lopez. Thank you guys so, so much. We will see you at 1030. It was an absolute pleasure. We'll see you next week with Tsunami Muse. Yes. Ciao. We want to thank, we wanna thank our YouTube. VIPs. Thank you so much. Subscribe, subscribe, join VIP. Ciao. And before we leave, there's one more VIP that I want to say. I just want to give a big shout out to at the end. Um, I want to give a shout out to Elaine and Dan on their seventh anniversary of their kidney transplant. Thank you so Mark. much for watching us. And we love you. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Bye. 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 Bye.